And welcome back everyone to the fifth weekly GTO Time Trial Tuesday. It is a beautiful Tuesday evening. We got some of the best online drivers better to, ready to go at it here at the short Sakuba Circuit. Very, very tiny road course here. Uh, nestled in Japan. Beautiful facility, beautiful track. And I've been ready to head or bring all the drivers to this one. Last time we were here was over a year ago for the kart race, the grassroots race here. And JV Tucker brought home the victory in that. Um, so that's the last time we've raced karts and raced at this racetrack. So uh, GTO is no strangers to this racetrack, uh, but it's first time we had a time trial Tuesday here. So it's going to be fun to watch these drivers go at it. And Slinky has changed to a Wyra for a second. Uh, it seemed a little overkill. There it goes. That's a little bit better. Uh, but we got some of the best ones at uh, Javen Tucker. He won two in a row to start off the time trial Tuesdays. He's in an R5 Turbo today. Slinky, he won two weeks ago when he was there on dirt in the super van. He's going to be driving an MR2 today. We got Vlid driving the Delta HF. Uh, we got a Tuck Kent Turbo. We got a Celica driven by Tiber. Peter's in the uh, the Turbo, by the way. Uh, Zay is, of course, driving the SLS. Um, don't know what E3 is going to be in yet. And uh, Landon Beach, he's a newcomer rookie in the series, should be back soon. I believe he will be driving a Porsche GT3 later on tonight. But it's going to be a fun one. Let's go ahead and get everything set up for the cameras so we can get this thing going. And everyone ready in 3, 2, 1. The track is hot. Everyone can start making their laps. See, everyone's starting to make their way out on track. Now, Javen Tucker, the first car out. If he's not first in the event, he's always the first car out on the racetrack. So we're going to see how he will do here tonight, driving that, that R5 Turbo. Jay Limber rolling off second. They dropping that AMG. Ooh, off the track a little bit already. Ooh, trying to gather it back up. Looks like Javid Tucker is going to come around the final wide sleeping turn. A very, very long turn. Term. If you can stick that turn, you can definitely make up a lot of time there coming down the straightaway and Javen Tucker's going to be the first one to take the green flag. Jalen Bird close behind. Jalen Bird has won a GTO race. It's been a very, very long time. Last time we saw him win a, a race was in season two of the GTO weekly series, which took place at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. So it's going to be fun to see what he can do here tonight. Seems like he's got a fast car so far. Let's see, Looking forward to see him start setting some laps, but it's been a while since we've seen him in victory lane, so it'll be cool to see him back. Now the good thing about going to a really, really tight and technical racetrack like this is, these drivers will be able to set a lot of laps versus as if we go to a longer racetrack and with the same 30 minute time period, you won't be able to set quite as many laps just due to the how long it takes to complete a lap. So we're gonna see a lot of laps set by drivers here today. And ooh, Jalen Burr goes to the top of the board by three tenths. Oh, Vlid takes it away from a second and a half. Uh, 57 357 is the fastest lap so far. That Vlid Motorsports driver is just so, so fast, week in and week out. So it's going to be fun to see what he can do. We're watching Magic Slinky. I think we've seen an MR2 in competition before, so it's going to be fun to see what this little car will be able to do. Nice Toyota sports cars. the final turn p2 nine tenths off of the leader goes magic slinky pretty good first lap for him oh jb tucker i believe went around off of the final turn Go with the in-car camera. 
of Lid here with Lid Motorsports. Watch him cut some laps around here. Him and Jalen Bird really, really close together right now. Hopefully they won't affect each other's lap times. Oh, and it looks like some contact there. Ooh, Slinky goes to the top of the board. Bye. Couple of tents there. Slinky's your new leader with the 56, 575. Puts Vlid seven tenths down in P2. Zay able to get that. AMG up to P3 at the moment. Oh, but looks like Peter took it away. So he said he's going to make it his mission to make sure that he's be the first one to win the time trial Tuesday in a front wheel drive car. So it's going to be fun to see if he can do that tonight as we're going to go to the end car camera of Slinky here. Ooh, three tenths up through there. Oh, he got a five tenth penalty though. A little bit too much rubble strip through the hairpin turn. He's going to have to set a... Going to have to give up some of that. GCM service penalty there. Back through the fuel. P2. Cross here. We saw a two-door hatchback quite similar to the one you see here, although this one is four-door. Uh, win the first event at Mount Panorama with Javen Tucker behind the wheel. So, seeing a couple cars just like that. People trying to emulate what Javen Tucker was able to do in that first time trial session. Sink tits up on us. We're a six one hundredths of a second faster than his previous time. And he's gonna go to the pits to make some adjustment there. Here at Landon Beach, I believe that's his last name, is out on the track now. And that Porsche Group or GR GT3, sorry. New to the league and new to the online driver. It's going to be fun to see what he can do. He always goes off of the track in the final turn. So kind of learning what that car can and can't do. But hopefully he'll be a fast driver once he's able to get... Ooh. James Tucker set a heater of a lap there. Whoa, and who's that go just went around? That was Landon again. That took one for a spin there off of turn one. A nice little group of cars here. Looks like E3 is going to pull out the way so he can get some clean track. That is one thing about these time trial sessions that you're out there with every other driver who's racing in this same session. So you may get your lap messed up by another driver trying to set a fast lap so you just got to be careful and choose the clean track when you can and kind of settle into the groove wherever you can find an open spot in traffic that's slinky still on the top of the board slinky was currently ooh, five tenths faster Purple sector there for Slinky. Slinky said he's currently under a severe thunderstorm watch and he's going to put on his suit, so I don't really know what that means, but uh, good luck with that. As he comes off the straightaway right behind E3 there. Going to get a nice little toe there into the final sector. And look to his inside here, try to get past him. Ooh, four tenths, purple sector for Slinky. 
off the final turn. Can use all the rumble strip he can. And four tenths faster goes Magic Slinky, able to extend his lead by a little bit. Zay's actually P2 now. Seven tenths off of the lead. Going pretty good for the AMG. A little bit of a heavier car, so maybe a little bit tougher in the corners, but it sure makes it up for it on straight line speed and acceleration. And Javen Tucker is currently sitting P3 here. So good run for him so far. Fast laps being set so far. Slinky still on the top of the board. And attention drivers, we have spent 10 minutes or down. 10 minutes are down. 20 more remaining. 20 more minutes to go. Looks like Zay's gonna pull her into the pits. Try to make some adjustments here. See how much, so he can squeeze some more speed out of that car. Third is Vlid, last week's winner. See if he can go back to back. He won last week in Watkins Glen and I believe a Mitsubishi GTO if I'm not mistaken, so. The rule is, whatever car won the last week's time trial, it will be banned for the next event. And it looks like uh, he's going to pull off the track, make some adjustments there. Right along now with Javen Tucker. What an odd looking steer wheel that thing has on it. We're using the engine breaking down in the turn one. Trying to get the power down off of turn one. Into the hard braking zone for the hairpin. One hundreds up on his personal best time. Do that final wide sweeping turn, trying to get the power down a little loose there. Able to keep it pointing in the right direction. Just a touch slower on his fastest lap. He's currently on his ninth lap of this run. His fastest lap was the fourth lap of this run with the 57207, as you see in the right side of your screen there. Driver setting pretty fast lap times so far. Slinky's be able to hold on his his top spot. We got a lot of drivers actually in the pits making adjustments right now. A beautiful.
beautiful track conditions here today at Sakuba. Always a fun racetrack, fun little tight racetrack. It's fun to watch these drivers really wrangle these race cars around here. A lot of drivers uh, shuffling back out on the racetrack after making some adjustments. Nice little camera we got here set up right above turn one, able to see him come down the front straightaway and go into the middle part of the road course. And attention drivers, we are halfway through the time trial Tuesday, 15 minutes down, 15 more minutes remaining, 15 more minutes to go. Zay currently in P2 is off the track now, just kind of sitting there, he's 7 tenths off of the leader. Javen Tugger sitting P3. Hasn't finished off the podium yet in a time trial Tuesday, if I'm correct. It's currently a second off of the leader. E3 close behind, only a tenth behind him, though. And there's Landon, the newcomer. Rookie, he's up to P5 as of right now. It's a good run for him so far. See if he'll be able to squeeze some more speed out of that Porsche. We got a car that went for a spin there. Nicholas Collier went for a little spin there, unfortunately. He's gonna take her to the pits. Looks like repair some damage and uh Javen or Jalen Bird has is in the the pits right now. Let's see if we can talk to Jalen Bird as of right now. Hey uh Jalen, this is up, up here in the booth, you got us? Hey, I can hear you. How's it going? Um yeah, you're currently uh, a little bit further down the leaderboard right now, but uh, we were just talking earlier, it's been a while since we've seen you in Victory Lane, you know it. Blue Moon Base Speedway been a long time, but uh, glad to see you back here racing with us again. And uh, how's the car and the track going tonight? Right now, biggest issue, I am not turning the way I want to. So I'm trying to figure that out and then I'll be back into it. Uh, the car does look pretty fast. If the time doesn't support it, it sounds good and looks good. So uh, good luck to you for the rest of the event tonight. Thank you. After this event, the top three will get interviewed. So if you were in the podium, please hang around a little bit after the event is over so you can get your post-race interview. Javen Tucker's on pit road. Let's see if we can talk to Javen while he's not cutting any laps. Hey, Javen, you got me? What's up? So you're currently uh, P3 at the moment. Uh, what do you think about the car and the track tonight? How's it? How's everything going? Uh, this car sucks. Uh, you doing anything to make it faster? Or you think you can? I'm just throwing stuff at it and just seeing what sticks. To be honest. Uh, what do you think of the track? I know you've been waiting to go to Sakuba. Oh, I love Sakuba. It's a great facility. And you won the last time we were here, so let's see if you'll be able to do it here tonight so good luck to you for the rest of the I would love to do that again thank you so much As he comes out the pits right behind landing there See if any, anyone will have anything for Magic Slinky. He's been on the top of the board for a majority. Ooh, he goes off the track there. Ooh, um, looks like Vlidier is actually, he's moved his way up in the third spot. Taken away from Javen Tucker. And he just set a little bit of a faster sector. Ooh, he's going to go seven tenths off P2. 
for Vlid there. We cross really, really fast car so far. Will he have enough to pick up those seven tenths? And attention drivers, we are 11 minutes remaining. So about to be 10 minutes remaining here in a little bit. Let's see if Vlid will have anything for the leader here today. Trying to go back to back wins here. See if he can get her done. Follow Vlid around here for a little bit since he seems to be the one of the faster cars on track right now other than Magic Slinky, of course. And attention drivers, we have 10 more minutes remaining. 20 minutes down, 10 more to go. 10 more minutes remaining. Looks like Vlid's actually gonna pit. See what kind of changes he can make to that car. Lena's gonna go for a spin there. Uh, two drivers actually went for a spin, so. Looks like he was dominant two weeks ago when we were at Barcelona Rally Course on the dirt. He was actually in another Toyota, a Toyota van actually. So let's see if he can get, he can go two for two in his two starts in Top Trial Tuesday. He's one of the fastest so far. Let's see if he can hold on here toward the end. Ooh, purple sector, two tenths up for Slinky. See if he can set even a faster lap. Ooh, three tenths up on his personal best. A 55.784 is your new fastest lap as of now. Just as E3 looked like he was gaining some ground, he's actually moved his way up into P2, I believe. A dead second. Uh, I, impressing he's exactly a second behind Magic Slinky as of right now. We have a solar lap there. Let's ride along with E3 as he cuts a lap around Sakuba here. Something that you may not notice, but it's pretty cool. A lot of these cars are actually right-hand drive versus left-hand drive, so 
Kind of cool to see these drivers on different sides of the race cars or street cars. Really using that engine braking to get the car settled down in the corner. Try to get the power down onto the straightaway. The run down this straightaway because it is the longest stretch on this racetrack is very, very important. And it's all about setting up that final turn. Let's see if you can get a good run to the finish line. Peter moved out the way for the leader there. Slinky set another fastest lap. Now a 55 744. He has put the burners on. Cool camera angles here. And attention drivers, we have five more minutes remaining. Five more minutes to go. So get your final setups in and try to get on track to set a time. Ooh, Slinky way off track. Contact with the outside barrier. Nicholas Collier has left the event. Wasn't running too good here tonight. Uh, couldn't really find the right adjustments to that car, so unfortunately he is going to leave a little bit early. Takes about a minute a lap, so these drivers will be able to set it right around four to five more laps, depending on when they can get out. Uh, Nicholas, Tri Nicholas Collier said that just to pronounce him dead on track again, so he has died two time trials in a row. So unfortunate death for Nicholas Collier. Jamie Tucker dropped down the fifth spot, trying to find some way to make that car work. Not the best car this week. Zay's actually down the P4 now. So your top three is Vlid in third. Uh, you got E3 in second. E3 finished second last week. See if he can have anything for Slinky here in the final closing minutes of the session. He's going to have to be perfect though because Slinky has truly been dominant tonight. And attention drivers, we have three more minutes to go. Three more minutes remaining in the time trial. And once again, once these the timer is up, the drivers will be able to complete one more timed lap to close out the event. And then we will tally up the fastest lap and the top three get interviewed and the winner goes home a happy person. T-Bird in the pits right now are Jalen Bird trying to make some adjustments. Slinky, or not Slinky, uh, Javen Tucker was off the track for a little bit there. So as, as well as Zay was playing in the sandbox for a little bit there. So like he's just going to do some burnouts. I hope he doesn't do that in the middle of traffic. That would not be a nice. And we are under two minutes now. Two more minutes to go. Get your final laps in, drivers. Ooh, Peter's actually up to P2 now. Uh, that's because E3's in the pits, so he's technically still third, I believe. 
His best lap is a 56.814. Not a bad lap. Pretty largely sized car, so it's going to drop Valid down to P4. See if E3 will be able to make some final minutes adjustments and get out to complete a lap before the timer is up. The dominant time trial session has been for Magic Slinky so far, but attention drivers, we are have one minute to go. One more minute remaining in the time trial. Oh, Peter way off the racetrack, deep, deep in the sand pit. E3 needs to hurry up and get out on racetrack if he wants to set another lap. Everyone trying to get their final laps in. We now have 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. Get to the line so you can do your one more time lap. Somebody tell E3 to get out the pits. Somebody tell E3 to get out the pits. Twenty more seconds. Twenty more seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And time is up. Time is up. Please complete one more timed lap and then pull off to the side of the racetrack. Please complete one more timed lap and pull off to the side of the racetrack. Will anything change on the leaderboard? Vlid trying to hold on to a... Trying to get back into the top three. Only 19 one hundredths of a second off of Peter there. And Peter is off the racetrack. Peter is P3 right now. Ooh, he's a tenth faster to the checkered flag. Where will Vlid end up? To the line, and he's gonna go fastest. He's gonna be in the top three now. 39 hundredths of a second faster than Peter. And E3 is finally exiting the pits. I don't know if he's going to be able to complete one more time lap. I guess we'll let him race one more time lap. But I believe Slinky is going to be the winner yet again. Two starts, two wins. So a great win for him. And P2 will be E3. Only second off as we have some... Celebratory drifts out of Slinky. Let's see if we can go ahead and interview Slinky tonight's winner. Slinky, you've entered two time trials and you've won both of them, so congratulations on your second time trial Tuesday win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Sorry. But uh, what did you think of the track tonight? Man, you were fast. How, what did you think of the track and the car? Well, congratulations on your win tonight. Isn't that a front-wheel drive car? Ah, oh, dang it. Well, good luck with that. So, congratulations on being tonight's winner. And let's see if we can uh, interview P2E3, who is currently backing around the racetrack. Uh, E3, uh, you finished P2 two weeks in a row. Uh, how was the track in the car tonight? Felt like I was driving a trash bag in the wind. I guess it was pretty hard. Were you able to make some adjustments to help it get a little faster there toward the end? Well, uh, congratulations on mm -hmm. your P2 finish. Thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll, you'll be able to improve one spot and get a win next week. So congrats. And P3, the interview we have all been waiting for, Vlid. Let's see if we can find him. Vlid, congratulations on P3. Hello. You won last week, uh, able to get a back-to-back -back podium. Well, my last week, Vlid's mummy was taken away for a fine. 
Uh, it's all right. Uh, we're gonna let that one slide, so we're gonna let that one stick still. But uh, good job on P3 tonight. Uh, what you think of the car and everything yes, tonight? Yes, yes. Lim Limbo not get killed by KGB. Uh, Limbo could not find the speed on the straightaway. It was uh, very slow, but it was good in the corner. I would like to try it again. So uh, congratulations, P3. Uh, hope to see you next week. Hope to see you back in Winter Circle. We love uh, seeing you do good here tonight. And uh, him getting a podium means that the KJB will not come after the GTO officials. So yes, that's yes. always. Wait, hey, hang on, hang on. Yes, Momo, make push up. Yes, give a good one. Yes, yes, yes. You have a good one too. Congrats. And that is it for tonight's Time Trial Tuesday. Magic Slinky on the top of the board again with the 55 744, the fastest lap here tonight at Sakuba Circuit. So for next week, please hit us up with any track suggestions you may have um, for some tracks that you may want us to go to. Uh, Titan Technical will, will not be a category for next week, so next week's category will be normal courses, uh, long and fast, and dirt. So we will see what kind of categories we'll be able to come up with. And uh, hopefully we'll go to a good one. So congratulations on Slicky being the night's winner. Make sure to check this video out on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Y'all have a great one. We'll see you next week.